Oh. Ooh. Well, I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate that I get to take a break right now because all my buckets are full of sap, but there's still sap to collect. Um, and I would like to get it all collected today because I don't know if we can get out tomorrow to collect. And I want to have it all in my storage totes. So I've basically got this guy going at a full boil here. And as I empty 20 liters in slowly, then I go out, fill a bucket, bring it back, filter it. Um, and hopefully I can finish checking my buckets today. I probably have another 20 buckets to check out of 100. But uh, I get to take a break, so I have a package. Um, so we're going to open this up with the Spyderco Mannix. Uh, my everyday knife. This package came from through night and they have sent me this, uh, that's a cute little box the TC 15 2300 which they say is the brightest lithium-ion flashlight of its size I'll get a little bit closer here so here's the uh, box that it came in. There's a little instruction guide in there and a charging cable. Um, there is also a lanyard and a nice little case. Actually, and what's cool about this case is it has a clip ring and it also has a belt loop. Um, so that's pretty handy. That makes it a little bit extra functional. You can clip it on your backpack or you can just carry it around on your belt. So, pull it out of the case. ba -da that is a That is a solid little feeling flashlight. See if it shipped with power. Nope. Did not ship with power. So, when I get home I'm going to plug this guy in and I'm going to be out checking for smelts. They should be running soon. There's still a lot of snow in the bush, um, but they go by water temperature. So I'm going to be out in the dark and I'm going to bring this with me in the dark to look for smelts. And I will check back in when I do that. Boom. So I did get out smelt fishing a little bit and I did use this through night light um, but I didn't do any of the filming at that part so I brought it with me. I'm in Grenada now. I'm here on a student group so I'm supervising students who are doing some drive, dive training <clears throat> and doing my best to carry on with the big wild year which is 365 days of all wild food. Um, and I brought the light with me and I really like it. So there's a couple features that I wanted to talk about. Um, the first one being this mode right here, which uh, may not show up very well on the camera, but this is their Firefly mode. Um, so if you turn it on by holding the button down, it automatically pops on at the very lowest power setting. I really like that. Um, you can otherwise just turn it off and then if you turn it back on again you can see there's much more light here now I'm just beam it at the wall um, and it has a couple of different power settings so once you've got the main light on if you hold the button down it's going to cycle through Ooh, there's the brightest one the um the three settings and another feature that i really like about this let's go to the medium setting um, if i turn the light off now and it's off, when I go to turn the light back on, it comes back to the same setting that I turned the light off on, which is really nice because one of my pet peeves is when you have a flashlight or a headlamp and you've got to cycle through like seven modes to get to the one that you want. But if you're sort of steadily using the same mode on this light, um, and I want to keep it on medium, then I turn it off. And then when I want to turn it on again, I just turn it on and it's right back to that same mode. Um, 
but the mode that I've been using the most frequently, I turn it off and then hold the button down and it pops up on Firefly mode. So you can see I'm still pointing it at the wall, but it's not even enough to light me up the way the other one was. Um, but I'll beam it on my face here and you can see me. So uh, I really like this light. I also have used it for hours and hours and hours. Um, and I have not lost a charge on it yet. Um, I also like that it has a pretty standard mini USB um, plug-in, so I have other devices that use this same plug, um, including my headlamp and my portable power bank, so I can use the same plug for those three devices, which is really, really handy. Um, so I'm a big fan. There's some other things I'm going to have to finish this video, wrap it up when I get back home, because in the box there are some other cool pieces to this lamp or this light um, that I didn't bring with me. So for example, um, it comes with a belt clip. Uh, I brought the belt pouch, which I quite like. It just has a Velcro closure and it's got a belt loop on the back. It also has, this is handy, um, just a, a clip on portion if you want to hang it off of a D clip or something. So that's also a good feature. Um, so that's what I wanted to say about the light right now while I'm in uh, a tropical country using it. And when I get back home, I'll go through the box, I'll show you some of the other um, little pieces that came with it and wrap up this review, which so far is two thumbs up. And these are the last little pieces that I wanted to show you. So here is the belt clip. Um, and it snaps on there really tight. I was a little bit dubious at first. I thought that might be a good way to lose the flashlight, but it is on there so solidly. I think that you would break this piece before this snap ring slipped off. That is very, very solid. And this is great. So here are some spare rubber gaskets for the inside and the spare ring that goes around the outside with the uh, little flaps, you can see that here. It's the dust cover and dirt cover for the charging port. You know, that's the kind of thing that's gonna break on you eventually. Just attaches on a ring and then it snaps in place. They sent two extra ones. So that's super. And the last little piece in there, this little plastic button piece. I actually don't know what that is, um, but it probably is going to come in handy. I'm sure I'll break something and I'll be like, ah, that's the piece. So through night TC15, two thumbs up for me. I use it all the time. Uh, it holds a charge. It's very bright and uh, it's my new go-to handheld flashlight for sure.